really cool if I can like look into apex of the turns before turning and I can get a good look at the map um, while I'm driving in first person I can lean forward to as well if I'm going through some rocky areas you can see we're going into like this industrial side I can look up and see over it look to my right hand side see let me just see over there you see that really cool really really helps you get through these tough areas when you're doing off-roading so we can survive this little muddy part right over here oh 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 and i can look anywhere through the apex of the turn and it helps so much with drifting again very handy can't repeat it enough to look at the apex of the turn Again, when you're taking those U-turns really tight, you can really look into the apex of the turn and really helps. Hi guys, Charles here. A lot of people ask me on stream, how do I achieve this type of immersion? Some people ask me, do I use virtual reality? And the case is that I don't. I use a product called Beam Eye Tracker. Now what Beam Eye Tracker does is that for only a fraction of the cost of a virtual reality, $30, it achieves the same type of immersion inside your gameplay like you just saw. Now, all you need to do in order to use this software is have a webcam or a cell phone and use it as a webcam. Now, there's a link in the description in order to acquire the software. So once you click on the link in the description, it's going to take you to this website. I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to install it and how to, and how to set it up, and you're gonna see how easy it is for you guys to achieve total immersion as well in BeamNG. Like I said, once you've clicked the link on the description, it's gonna bring you to this website. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click here on Get Beam Eye Tracker Now, purchase the software, and follow the installation instructions. Once you've installed the Beam Eye Tracking software, you're also going to want to install OpenTrack software. Now, there's a link in the description also as well in order to acquire OpenTrack software completely free. This, this software is an open source software that connects over 200 games in order to um, support the eye tracking capabilities. All right, so once you've installed Beam Eye Tracker, you're going to see a menu like this. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select the camera that you're gonna use or the webcam or your cell phone camera that you're gonna use in order to support the eye tracking. Now I'm using the Logitech webcam and if you can see, you can preview the video and you can see that the cam is working. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna press calibrate. Mine is already calibrated, but you're gonna to wanna to press calibrate. It's gonna pop up a menu like this. You're gonna to wanna to do the calibration. Just click on all of the dots and now your beam eye tracking is working. Now, next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open OpenTrack. Now, OpenTrack is the other software that's the link in the description. You're gonna to wanna to open that. And once you've opened it, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and in your input, you're gonna select Eyewear Beam. And in your output, you're gonna select FreeTrack 2.0. Um, over here on your right hand side, there's a lot of profiles that are default profiles that you can use. I have it set up as MKACC. This is the default setup for a set of Corsa Competizione, which is a, a decent setup to use when you're when you're using BeamNG, to be honest. So all you want to want to do is look forward, press start, and you're gonna see the tracking start. Everywhere I look, you're gonna see our little jellyfish moving around. That means that the open track is working. Let's see it in game. All right, and we're here in our first scenario. This is the drift track, and we're here in our drift car. And as you can see, I can look inside of our Grand Marshal, and everywhere our head moves, we can see within the vehicle, and this helps a lot with drifting, and I'm gonna show you right now. And you can see we can tilt our head and we can look within the vehicle to the right hand side and this helps so much with drifting you can see that beautiful i can look within and i get such a good view when the drivers and you get so much immersion off of that you can see i can give it more angle if i want to As you can see, very, very handy to use.
And I can look anywhere through the apex of the turn. And it helps so much with drifting. All right, we'll go into our next scenario. And we're going to do a little bit of off-roading. All right, let's go into our next scenario. All right, we're here in our off-road track, and we are using the Sunburst. And as you can see, we can see inside our Sunburst. And this is, again, very, very useful. Whether you're doing off-roading, whether you're doing racing, whether you're doing whatever it is you're doing. But right now, we're going to do a bit of off-roading for you guys. Again, very handy. Can't repeat it enough to look at the apex of the turn. Whether you're doing off-roading, racing, or whatever discipline in BeamNG. Oh! Now, as you can see, in our off-road scenario, also as well, very useful to look forward when you're taking a jump. Oh, oh. You can also use it in third person, too, as well. Take a look at the crash. All right, let's go into our next scenario. All right. We are in our uh, last scenario, and we're going to take this uh, truck up this hill over here. Again, when you're taking those U-turns really tight, you can really look into the apex of the turn and really helps. You can really look to the left hand side and see the horizon over there. Beautiful. And we have reached the top of our hill. And as you can see, we are looking over West Coast. <laughs> All right, we've reached the end of our video. Please uh, provide any feedback, any comments, and um, any questions that you might have. I'd be more than happy to respond. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Charles here. Catch you guys in the next one. And remember, download the software and be immersed in BeamNG like this. Thank you.